The woman takes off her shoes. Shaking the stones out of her shoes her foot touches a bud on the floor. And miraculously, the cut bud blooms into a beautiful flower. The woman didn't realize it at all. At this moment, all she could think about was the hairpin she left behind in the rich man's house. But wherever the woman passed, the buds bloomed. The flowers on the ground were in full bloom. Aman's family was thrilled. Smiles were on everyone's faces. It turns out the buds were used by the grandmother to test her granddaughter-in-law. It would only bloom if someone with an angelic soul came near it. Aman was cursed by Hades. The only way to get rid of Hades. The only way to get rid of him is for him to marry a woman with the soul of an angel. Grandma looked at the bride who had just stepped into the hall. She couldn't hide her joy. She believed that the bride was the one who could save Aman. But the real Mary, the one who made the buds bloom, Mary, was still at the villa searching for her lost hairpin. She entered a house full of books. A mysterious light on a shelf aroused Mary's curiosity. She went to the bookshelf as if on cue and tried to remove it. But the height difference prevented Mary from stepping on the shelf. Mary brought a stool and stepped on it and tried to stand on tiptoe. But then an accident happened. Mary lost her footing and fell from the second floor. She closed her eyes in fear. But Mary felt no pain. She opened 